Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your upper body core and cardio workout. What you're going to need today is a mat, and you're also going to need a set of dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the better. Have them handy. You're also going to need something to hydrate with. All right, so we're going to hit the upper body pretty hard today. It's going to be super challenging. Every exercise will be performed for 60 seconds. After that exercise, we'll have 15 seconds to recover. Now, we have a couple long longer breaks built in throughout the workout, but if at any time you need a longer break, hit pause, take that drink of water, take a few deep breaths, and then meet me back when you're ready. Since every exercise is timed, remember quality reps over quantity. We do not have to go at the same tempo. It's time, so just look at that clock. When it's over, we're done with that exercise. Now, I will tell you what weights I'm going to be using once we get there, but you and I, again, we're different. So you may able you may be able to go a little bit heavier than me, or you may need to go a little bit lighter. I want you to find a weight selection that is challenging for you while maintaining your form and mind-muscle connection. The first five exercises are going to be body weight only. It's gonna be our warm-up. So 60 seconds on, 15 seconds off. After those five exercises, we'll get a longer recovery uh, before going into our dumbbell circuit. First exercise is going to be a square tap. A square tap, I can't even say it right. Okay, so pretend like you are in a box or a square. We're gonna tap the corners of that box. So it's going left, right, left, right, all right? So we're just getting that heart rate up. Tap the corners of that box that you are in. It's a pretend box, <laughs> all right. Here we go, 60 seconds in three, two, and one. Minimal cues today, because I hear you guys like it better when I don't talk. Hey, I will listen. and recover. All right, next up we have a jumping jack to a punch. So we're right here and punch, other side and punch. All right, jumping jack, one punch. Make sure you're pivoting on that foot. We go in three, two, and one. two, and one, recover. All right, next up, we have an inchworm. So soft knees, we're gonna walk it out to that high plank position, core is nice and tight, and then we're walking it back in. As a modification, release the knees. We go in three, two, and one.
will be our last rep. And recover. All right, we're going back to that square tap, but instead of going left, right, left, right, now we're going right, left, right, left. One side may feel a little bit more awkward uh, than the other. If you're one side dominant, let's go. two, and one. All right, we're going back to those jumping jacks to alternating punch. That's gonna end our warm up. We'll get a longer break and then grab our lighter set of dumbbells for about 10 minutes of work. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it, cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight, oh, so give me, so give me your all, I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind, oh, so give me, so give me your all, I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind, just watch me, And recover. All right, grab that drink of water. We get a longer recovery and then meet me back on your mat with your lighter set of dumbbells. All right, so next up, we're going to hit the upper body, specifically your delts, uh, really well with some dumbbells. A light set of dumbbells, y'all. We are going to hammer it in. Every exercise is going to be one minute, 15 seconds to recover. The first eight exercises is gonna be all about the upper body with dumbbells. The final three will target mainly your core and a little bit of upper body, but the final three exercises will be body weight only. So we have about 13 and a half minutes of total work time before we get a longer break. First exercise will be excuse me, a poliquin lateral raise. So lighter weights here, neutral grip with the hands, hammer curl it in. So big squeeze of the biceps from here. Elbows go out wide, we press it out, feeling tension in the medial part of the delts and then we control it on the way down. So it's one, two, three, and four. Following that, we're gonna hit some neutral full thrusters pretty heavy. We'll do left and then right and then move on. But first we have those poliquin lateral raises. We go 60 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's work. <laughs> Last three, two, and 
once. Set one of those dumbbells down. Coming up next, we have neutral full thrusters on the left side. So neutral grip, we use the lower body to drive that dumbbell up. Control, control on the way down. 60 seconds on, we go. Now, keep your core tight. Make sure your hips stay level. The tendency is to wanna to dip to that side that has the weight. So just fight that urge. One more rep and one. All right, we're doing the same exact thing on the other side. After this exercise, we grab the other light dumbbell for a new exercise. Neutral half full thrusters, right side we go. Now. Last rep. And grab that other dumbbell. We have a dumbbell four way. Typically, I do a six way, but this time just four movements. So we take it out, lateral raise, bring it in front, control it on the way down. So four count movement. We go in three, two, one. Bring it to the side, lateral raise, together in front, back out, bring it back down. So four way. One, two, three, four. You got it. And one. All right, we're back to those single arm neutral full thrusters. We have this one more round. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Let's slow down the eccentric this round even more. Left side. Let's go.
and one. Switch sides, we're doing that one more time, single-sided, and then we're gonna grab that other dumbbell for bilateral exercise. Get into position, slow eccentric. We go in three, two, let's get strong. One more rep and grab that other dumbbell. All right, two more dumbbell exercises, then it's body weight only. Alternating supinated front raise across the body slightly. So bring it up, shoulder level, control it down. Slight angle with this one. Front of the delts is our main focus. So make sure you're keeping the hips out of it. I like a slight lean forward. That just helps my um, anterior part of my delts really stay activated the whole time. What we don't want is that number. And one, all right, final dumbbell exercise of this block, neutral, bilateral, full thruster. Normal tempo, up and down. This is gonna burn after this exercise, body weight only. Y'all, less than five minutes, longer break. Let's go. Last rep. And set those dumbbells down. Next three exercises, body weight only. We have four mountain climbers to a push up. So we're in this high plank position. Knee goes into the chest for four. And then one push up on or off the knees. Let's go.
three, two, and one. Oh. All right, y'all, two tricep dips to uh, alternating toe reach. So we're right here, booty goes up, two tricep dips, mine looks like pulses, and then we reach towards the toes. Twice, let's go. Two triceps, reach for the toe, each side, and then go again. Again, I have very short arms, so my lever is not very long, but even though I have short arms, I am still working those triceps. I'm feeling it. What about you? Final exercise, and we get a longer break. Four bicycle crunches to two sprinter sit-ups. So it's four, three, two, one. We come all the way down, bigger range of motion all the way up as we reach towards the opposite heel for two. So four bicycles, four, three, two, one, two sprinter sit-ups all the way up on each side. As an option or modification, just stick with those bicycles throughout. Nice work. Grab that drink of water. We're a little over halfway through your workout. Now we're going to focus mainly on uh, some pulling exercises. We got a lot of back, biceps coming your way. Have those heavier dumbbells, if we have them available, I have them nearby because that's what we're going to grab. I was using eight pounds. Now I'm going to switch to somewhere in between 15 to 20 pounds. That's going to be pretty challenging towards the end. Grab that drink of water, <laughs> grab those weights, meet me back standing on your mat. All right, y'all, final block of the day. Very similar format to what we just did. A little bit of strength, a little bit of power, a little bit of endurance, but new exercises. First eight exercises will be with dumbbells, and then the final three, body weight only. First up, we have uh, low rows. We're gonna hit one side at a time. Do your weaker side first, if you have a weaker side. So we're, we have a wide base, slight lean forward, palm will face in, keep the elbow in tight as we pull that dumbbell up to the outside of the chest. Big squeeze along that mid to upper back, keep the core tight uh, as we bring it back down. Now we're gonna hit those rows and then we're going into something called a clean to press. We use the lower body to get the dumbbell up, neutral grip above the shoulders. We use the lower body again to drive it up, control and on the way down. We're gonna do both of those exercises on one side of the body. So I'm gonna be doing it on my right side first, and then we'll do it on the left. But if you wanna do left side first, if that's your weaker side, feel free to do that. I'm gonna be grabbing 15 pounds. That'll do the trick for me. Go heavier, go lighter, find a weight selection challenging for you. All right, we have stagger stance, neutral grip, low row, one side of the body, I'm going right. We go in three, two, and one, 60 seconds, let's go.
two, and one. All right, same side of the body. Keep the dumbbell in the same hand, cling to press. We use the lower body, it's an upright row. We flip the grip at the last minute to neutral. We use the lower body again to drive that dumbbell up, control it, and reset. 60 seconds, let's go. And one, all right, go ahead, switch that dumbbell to the other side. We're doing the exact same thing on the other side of the body. So stagger stance, low row, targeting that mid to upper back. Keep the elbow in tight, get into position. We go, and three, two, and one. There's a bunch of us out in the world who's just like me, not into you. Say, say, if you think you could deal, you know nothing, babe. I want something real, not the custom. One, all right, cling to press, same side of the body. Whew, here we go, get into position. 60 seconds on, and then we're going to some bilateral work. So have that other dumbbell handy, or at least know where it is. Cling to press, let's go. And one. All right, grab that other dumbbell. Coming up next, we have a supinated to pronated bicep curl. This ain't your typical bicep curl. It's a lot harder. Supinated grip on the way up, and then on the eccentric, we flip it to pronated. Uh, let's go. So elbows in tight, big squeeze, flip it to pronated, bring it down. Now, if you find that is too much, supinated on the way up, neutral on the way down. That pronated grip is very challenging. Make sure on the way up, we're not doing that number. See it all the time. You are better than that. Don't do it, please. Save your low back.
and one. Put one of those dumbbells down. All right, I did not come up with the name for this exercise. It's called snatch, all right? One side of the body, do whatever side you want first. One swift motion as we bring the dumbbell all the way up. Keep the dumbbell tight to the body. All right, let's go. 60 seconds. So think of it as an upright row. And then at the last second, we switch it, switch the grip from pronated to supinated. So like you're ripping uh, a piece of clothing off. I don't know why you'd ever do it that way, but that's a cue to think about. Just keep the dumbbell tight to the body. This one is a burner. Keep the weight equally distributed in both feet. Last rep. Back to those biceps, grab that other dumbbell. We have an alternating hammer curl, but we're gonna hold the isometric contraction when we alternate. So this is the starting and ending position. This is tough. Let's go, one at a time. Hold and squeeze, other side. If you're wondering, if you're cursing my name, I am cursing myself right now. Fight through this burn. Keep that lower body out of it. If you need to make a slight hinge forward, I highly recommend it. Let's fight through this burn. We got it. Set one of those dumbbells down. Final dumbbell exercise of the day will be the single arm snatches on the other side. All right, here we go. Final time doing this. Let's go. One more rep. Three, two, and one. All right, next three, final three, body weight only. We have a high to low plank for atomic mountain climbers. So we're in this high plank. It goes forearms, forearms, hands, hands, mountain climber, but knee to opposite elbow for four. All right, we got this, let's go. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand, atomic mountain climber for four, and we do it again.
last three, two, and one. Goodness, all right, we have two supermans to four swimmers, so we're on our belly, thank goodness. Here we go, we lift for two, targeting the upper glutes, low, other side of your core, and then we take it for a swim for four. Let's go, so two supermans, big squeeze, now we hold, we kick for four on those swimmers, and then we do it again. This is targeting your core, just the back side of your core, we gotta keep that part nice, healthy, and strong as well. Flip it onto your back. All right, we have bicycles. This time, no sprinter sit-ups. Three count to a hold. So we have three bicycles on that third count. We hold, and then we do that again. So this tempo, just a tempo change with this. Let's go. It's three, two, hold for two. Then we do that again. Three, two, hold for two. Really squeeze right there in the hold. Three, two, and hold. Don't just touch your knee to your elbow. Really twist from that thoracic spine. It doesn't have to touch, twist. That's gonna get the obliques involved as well. In 10 seconds, we're gonna rep out these bicycles, normal tempo to end with. It's gonna be our burner. You're gonna hate me. Keep your good form. Let's go, normal tempo. That's 50, we're going for 50 more. Five, we got this. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We just went past a hundred. And it's on fire. Nice work today. Let's stretch. We deserve it. Oh, where should we start? Let's grab a hold at the back of the hamstrings, give ourselves a few rolls up. And since my abs are burning, let's go ahead and hit it with a nice stretch. Well-deserved stretch, so flip it onto your belly. Let's start with a little cobra stretch. Oh yeah, now I feel it. Super. <laughs> Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, bring it down, frame the chest with the hands, and then let's bring it up a little bit more. Let the quads rest. Look forward, chest is lifted. Release right hip, look over left shoulder. Ooh, there we go. Yep, we worked, good job. I'm feeling it, okay. Other side, inhale, exhale, switch and hold. 
All right, we're going to uh, stretch out those shoulders because we deserve it. So go ahead, bring it into a tabletop position. Inhale the right arm up, a little twist open. As we exhale, thread this right hand underneath the left and release right ear to the shoulder. So reach the right fingertips towards the left side of the room and then extend the left arm long. When you're ready, bring that left hand to frame the face, push off with the left hand and bring the right hand back underneath the right shoulder, other side, inhale, left arm up and exhale, thread it underneath. If you want, extend that right arm uh, along the mat and just enjoy this stretch. Good job today. All right, go ahead, bring it up. We're going to hit the uh, forearm stretch because we did work the forearms. Uh, nice, we gotta have strong forearms, y'all. We, we, I don't pay enough attention to my forearm strength, but I feel it when I try to deadlift heavy. So let's uh, go ahead and stretch it out. Fingertips point towards the quads, inhale, head forward, and then exhale. Gently guide the hips back towards the heels. Feel a nice stretch on the back of the wrists into the forearms. All right, now let's shake it out. Good, okay, bring it back to that tabletop position, neutral spine, and then bring the hands about six inches forward. Curl the toes under, inhale, long spine. As we exhale, lift the knees off and then shoot those hips up and back, downward facing dog. Start to pedal out the heels right and left and then reach both heels towards the mat. Really drive the chest towards the quads. Oh, and feel a nice stretch. Always feel a nice stretch, well, of course, along the back of my hamstrings, but in my mid to upper back as well. Yeses and noes with the head, release any tension there. Inhale, look up at the hands, exhale, tippy toe forward. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand for a gentle ragdoll pose, sway side to side. Again, just creating length along the spine and along the back of the legs. Yes is a nose with the head, release any tension in that neck. Bring all swing to a complete stop. Bend at the knees, inhale, reverse swan dive it up. And let's grab a hold of that left wrist with the right hand and take a gentle side bend up and over towards the right. Shift the weight into the left foot. On the next inhale, draw the left shoulder blade back and then side bend a little deeper. Inhale up center, let's switch the grip and exhale other side. Inhale, draw that right shoulder blade back and exhale, side bend a little deeper. Should feel pretty good. Inhale up to center. As we exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows right behind the rib cage, open up the chest in the front of the delts. Let's do that again. Inhale up and exhale, open. Nice work today. Ah, I feel like jello. What about you? All right, so that was the upper body. Uh, I'm filming a lower body tomorrow. As soon as I edit, uh, I will have all this stuff posted. <laughs> nice work today, y'all. It's a Saturday. It feels like a Monday. Have a wonderful rest of the day. My name's Laurie and you rock.